Archie Beauty and teams up with the Greg Lindmark Foundation to host their second annual Battle Against PTSD this Sunday. And we have Ray Richmond from Chicochi University and Brad Lindmark from the Greg Lindmark Foundation joining us this morning to talk about uh, what you guys have going on. So why don't you talk about why you're here? Uh, absolutely. Um, well, we at Chicochi University with 16 campuses, we have an amazing outreach into the community. Uh, this Sunday, July 29th, we're teaming up with uh, the Greg Lindmark Foundation to fight against PTSD again. And kind of, why don't you talk about what kind of brought the Greg Lindmark Foundation to fruition and why it's so important? As uh, most people know, my brother committed suicide. He was a deputy chief in, uh, for the police department for a number of years. Uh, the family decided that let's do something so other families don't have to go through this. Um, it's such a need for all of our first responders. In the United States alone, three re uh, first responders commit suicide each day. Um, it's, it needs to improve, we need to work on that, and the foundation is trying to fix that. So you guys, you know, help the, their families and raise money to help, to basically give them assistance and get the, them the help they need. Correct, absolutely. We uh, pay for all counseling, which is anonymous. Um, nobody knows who's going, we don't want to know. We pay the bills, we do training for different departments. We got the officer, uh, Greg Lindmark Memorial, law passed, uh, which provides training for PTSD, um, to all officers, but we're really uh, focused on all first responders. Um, there's, they see so many things every day. It, it needs to improve. We need to help. We need to do more. We're trying to do more. We're growing, and uh, we'll get there. And you guys help first responders right here in the state line. Absolutely. Um, Northern Illinois, um, expanding to the whole state of Illinois, uh, southern Wisconsin. Uh, we we want to expand further, but it, it takes time. It takes money, and we're getting there. And how, um, what, what kind of inspired Chikoshi to kind of become a part of this? Well, we have, you know, students in, like I said, 16 different campuses across three states. Um, but we want to uplift the community and fight against things that tears it apart. So we've decided to create a, a, a day in celebration of first responders, uh, a day of showing our, what our students are capable of with having um, a, a barber beauty battle, car show, bike show, break dancing competitions. We're trying to take a whole day of celebration to give back. So we were able to uh, team with multiple uh, Rockford Commerce, um, cost cutters, Color Lab Cosmetics, and Stale Clothing just to kind of push this event to get it to you know, a level where we can show uh, multiple, con or multiple states of what we're doing for the foundation. And how can people at home get involved in the event? Absolutely, come out and support. Just come on out to uh, the Rivet Stadium this Sunday, July 29th from 12 to 6. Enjoy yourselves, it'll be a fun day. Fireworks, food vendors, cars, bikes, trucks, and again, we'll come see a competition of barbers and cosmetologists. Yeah, that's going to be a that's lot of really fun. It's cool. all for a good cause. Absolutely. You can't beat it. Absolutely. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. We'll put more information on our website at mystateline.com to give you more information how you guys can attend as well. But